As the first major conventional conflict in Europe since the Yugoslav Wars of the 1990s, the war in Ukraine serves as a reminder of the massive potential of numerous weapon systems and electronic warfare assets in combat situations. And the destructive power of multiple rocket launch systems is certainly no exception. Ever since the takeover of Crimea by Russia, Ukraine has launched a re-equipment program to make up for the decades of neglect of its armed forces. In this video, we're going to take a look at two Ukrainian rocket systems, Vilka M and Grim 2, and see how they compare to the American M142, otherwise known as Hamars. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. But now, back to rocket systems. Vilka M is a new multiple launch rocket system developed by the State Kiev Design Bureau, Luke, in collaboration with other public and private Ukrainian defense companies and is a modernized version of the Vilka MLRS that entered into service with the Ukrainian Armed Forces in 2018. Designed for 30mm caliber launchers, the Vilka M is an extended 130km range version of the baseline 70km range Vilka MLRS. The Vilka M is capable of destroying infantry, armored and unarmored vehicles, and enemy manpower in concentration areas of artillery batteries, command posts, and ammunition depots. It is 10 times more accurate than the aging MLRS platforms in service with the Ukrainian Army. This new system is based on the Soviet-era BM-30 Smirch Heavy Multiple Launch Rocket System. Each of the two systems is manned by a crew of four and is capable of firing missiles in single or salvo modes. The vehicle is based on a Kras 7634 8x8 military truck chassis. The driver's cab is mounted on the forward left section of the chassis and behind him in the launch cabin is the launch preparation and firing equipment systems. The 12 launcher tubes of 300 mm are mounted at the rear. The rocket tube arrangement is two separate banks of four, with a connecting roof on the remaining four tubes overlying the inner tubes of the banks. The truck is also fitted with a pair of circular legs of stabilization on either side of the chassis. The gross weight of the truck is 32 tons, while its load carrying capacity is 18.8 tons. Power comes from the YAMS 7511.10 turbocharged diesel engine, coupled to a 9-speed mechanical transmission system. The engine develops a maximum power output of 420 horsepower and can reach a maximum speed of 100 km per hour. The Vilka M is capable of firing 12 missiles in just 45 seconds and engaging the targets with a circular error probability of less than 30 meters. The missile is aimed at the target by an inertial and satellite navigation system using aerodynamic control surfaces. Each rocket is powered by a solid motor and can be fitted with two different warheads. The Vilka M is fitted with a new automatic fire control system that can be used in manual or automatic mode, enabling it to control the angles of each launcher tubes. The laying of the launch tube cluster, the path and location of the launch vehicle, as well as the point of destination and course of movement are visually presented in the form of graphics on the video terminal. The new launch interface enhances survivability of the Vilka M by reducing the time of remaining at a fire position. To avoid the risk of signal loss due to satellite navigation jamming or deceiving attacks, the Vilka M missile employs a GPS-free guidance system. Grim 2, also known by the names Grom, meaning Thunder, or Sapsan, is the new Ukrainian short-range ballistic missile that is currently being developed. The missile project dates back to 2003, however, at that time, there was no funding to begin development. Ukrainian sources reported that the Grim 2 missile was unveiled publicly for the first time in 2018, with its first flight in January that year. The missile reportedly entered development in 2016 with the help of $40 million of Saudi financing for the project, which was spearheaded by Ukraine's Yuzhoynye Design Office. At that time, Ukrainian sources claimed that the missile would enter mass production in 2018 or 2020, but there was very little information available to confirm that this took place. The Grim-2 is equivalent to the Russian Iskander, short-range ballistic missile. Once in service, it could replace the older Tochka-U, short-range ballistic missile that has a range of 120 kilometers and is currently the main Ukrainian Army's ground attack missile. It is also planned that the Grim-2 will be offered for export customers. A mock-up of the missile was revealed in 2016. It is expected to have a firing range of up to 500 kilometers. These missiles can strike important enemy targets such as missile sites, concentration of troops and equipment, as well as command posts. In some cases, 
This ballistic missile can be used as an alternative to precision bombing. The plan is that there will also be a downgraded export version with smaller fuel tanks, range of 280 kilometers and 480 kilogram warhead. The export version must not exceed 300 kilometer range and 500 kilogram payload limits in order to meet export restrictions set by the missile technology control regime. The plan also includes making the Grim-2 launcher vehicle capable of carrying and launching Korshun land attack cruise missiles with a range of 280 to 700 kilometers. The Korshun missile, which will be developed in the Ukraine, resembles the Soviet KH-55 air launch cruise missile. The Grim-2 launcher vehicle uses a five-axle chassis, which has some degree of cross-country mobility and can travel off-road. It is operated by a crew of three and carries two missiles. Each missile can be targeted independently. It is most likely that several different conventional warheads will be created. Each Grim-2 launcher vehicle will be supported by an associated reloading vehicle, which will be fitted with a crane and will carry reload missiles. A battery of these launchers will be supported by a command vehicle, as well as maintenance and repair vehicles. The HAMARS or High Mobility Artillery Rocket System changed the way warfighters engage in the battle space by offering, as the name suggests, unmatched mobility in the field. Technically advanced, affordable, and sustainable, HAMARS is interoperable and the latest precision munitions that range 15 to 499 plus kilometers. This includes the entire suite of multiple launch rocket systems munitions including Extended Range Guided MLRS, Guided MLRS, the Precision Strike Missile, and the Army Tactical Missile System. The Mars can fire the same family of munitions as MLRS launchers, but has one key difference, a wheeled chassis instead of tracks. This design offers a unique shoot and scoot capability that enables soldiers, Marines, and other allies to position, engage, and rapidly relocate after firing. The future battlefield is unpredictable, making adaptability increasingly important. Sometimes this will require bringing the fight to a location previously thought unreachable. That's where Hamar shines because its lightweight makes it highly transportable. In October 2017, a Marine Corps Hamars fired a rocket while at sea against a land target for the first time from the deck of an amphibious transport dock USS Anchorage, demonstrating the system's ability to operate while on ships to deliver precision fire from a standoff range against shore defenses. The vehicle's targeting software was reworked so it can better fire while on a constantly moving and maneuvering launch platform. Another thing that makes Hamars stand out is the system's precision. Hamars, along with the guided multiple launch system rockets, achieve remarkable strike precision. These systems were developed by the Americans as a sort of sniper artillery for use in difficult environments like Fallujah in Iraq, where you had to hit the target exactly because it was surrounded by civilians. The secret to the rocket's precision is an inertial navigation system, a collection of gyroscopes and accelerometers that tells the rocket its exact location relative to its target, enabling a precision of 3 to 5 meters at maximum range. Equally important is the intelligence network that provides coordinates to the gunner. Perhaps the most important point of the impact of Hamars is that it has allowed the Ukrainians to return to their preferred way of war. During the recent Russian invasion, in the war's initial battles, the Ukrainians attacked the weakest physical support systems of the Russian army in the field, supply routes, logistic supply hubs, artillery, and senior commanders in their headquarters. But in the east, the Russians changed tactics. They concentrated their forces on a single large offensive, used their advantage in firepower and forced the Ukrainians into an attritional battle for the Donbass. This is Russia's preferred way of fighting and a way of war that the Ukrainians cannot afford to wage. With the introduction of Hamars, the battlefield has changed once again. Over a dozen major Russian supply depots used to store artillery and ammunition have been destroyed by Hamars rockets. Ukrainians have used the Hamars to attack Russian command posts, and they have used it to destroy Russian air defense systems, allowing the Ukrainian Air Force greater freedom to support the fight on the ground. Which of these military arms do you think is the most powerful? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.